Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgie and this is Disembodied Tyrant and Syn Synestia or Synestia, one or the other. So, this was recommended to me. It was recommended to me by, he says, clicking on the right button, Negative Feed um, on the aborted uh, video I did last week. And he says, I would also like to hear your opinion on Synestia, whew, Disembodied Tyrant, the poetic Edda. So I'd never heard of it, right? Never heard of disembodied tyrants, Synestia, any of this. And uh, so I thought, oh, I don't know who that is. I'll go and look them up. Not that I know as if I know everyone. Ooh, no, a band I've never heard of. I mean, thousands of bands out there I've never heard of. Anyway, from what I can make out, and please correct me if I'm wrong in, in the comments. Please politely correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So Disembodied Tyrant is one guy who does, well, obviously, who does stuff on his own, doing all the writing and everything. And Synestia is two people, one in, I think, Finland and one in America. Uh, you know, an, an internet band, as it were. And as far as I can make out, they've got together, so now there's three of them, it's almost a band, and done this. So it's like an EP, there's four tracks on it, um, and I do not know, I haven't heard it, right? I've heard little snippets of it. I went click, 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 click through it and went, oh yeah, that sounds interesting. So I haven't actually heard it, but I've, I have no idea whether they did a song, you know, one song is, is Disembodied Tyrant and then the next song is Synestia and da, 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 da. I have no idea. Or whether they just got together and did the whole thing together. I can't make I can't make it out because this is the days of dig, these are the days of digital distribution. So therefore, things like split EPs are not a thing anymore. Um, if you're young, you won't know what a split EP is. But back in the day, when you were, wanted to make a, a a demo and you wanted to send it to all the press, like the magazines and stuff. You literally had to press a load of CDs. You know, I need I need to press 200 CDs and send them all out, which obviously had a cost to it um, of the CD and the sleeve. They used to come in little cardboard sleeves. I, I had loads of them. Um, and uh, But you got the sleeve and they'd put like as much artwork as they could afford on the sleeve and in went a nicely professionally done CD, as well as recording it, of course, and all of that sort of thing. And then all the postage and da, 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 for probably very little return. So bands sometimes, if, if they thought that's a lot of money, you know, it's going to cost us £5,000 to do this. Let's get together with another band, have a split one and like two tracks each on it. And, and we only have to pay two and a half thousand pounds, you know, and... and you see what you see what I'm doing see what I'm talking about so this used to happen all of the time back in the back in the day and I'm only talking about the noughties like the 2000s um, I'm, not, I'm not talking about ancient history here but obviously we've got digital distribution now so all of that's gone away so bands don't need to do split things so at first I was very confused about what this was but I, I think as far as I can make out they have both got together and they're working together on this does that make sense so yes um so i looked it up and it came out about six months ago and i haven't watched any of them but i noticed that it had been covered quite a lot quite a lot it's probably a strong word but it had been covered in various places on that their internet youtube place so uh i thought all right clearly something and it passed to me by completely. So, a uh, negative feed. Thank you very much for putting it in front of me. Hopefully all that made sense. Maybe not. You can get it on Bandcamp, you'll be surprised to hear, for like, I don't know. It wasn't a lot. It was not a lot. Synestia, disembodied tyrant, just in case you can't read it.
Lovely. Um, um, I'm not absolutely certain which of these tracks we just listened to. Oh no, there is the Poetic Header, it's the third one. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought the Poetic Header was the whole thing. So it looks like the third, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know, is that I've got an itchy ear? No, what I do know, is that that was kind of, that was six minutes, right? And I loved it. <laughs> I was like, this is so good. That I could, it could have just carried on. It could have just carried on stopping and starting and bringing you around and you know it's about to punch you in the face and you're just like, yeah, go on, ready, and... And all the symphonic stuff. So what I, what I probably should have said, which I didn't say, sorry about that, failed to say it, is that it has a genre which is symphonic progressive deathcore. And I can't really call them out on any of those words. Um, it sounds like an absolute ton of work. It sounds like something that was an absolute labour of love and probably hate um, over a period of time and they worked it to death to end up with this. <laughs> okay. Some people are going to hate this with a passion. And I it, sat in my chair watching the video in this environment. It was fantastic. In my car, might be more of a difficult listen because it might all become disembodied from it, its various parts if you're just listening to it in the car kind of thing. But if you're sitting down and you're paying attention, you're on board with it, it's, it's an amazing piece of work in my humble opinion. Obviously not for everybody. Um, it's huge. It's this enormous sound and this the brutal power of it and the whole everything about it just fit together into the, the, the whole feeling of the thing. It's it's that's a that's a thing. I mean, thank you very much, negative feedback. I shan't be giving any negative feedback. Huh, do you see what I did there? Oh sorry, negative feed. I I, I seem to have added the back. So thanks, Negative Feed, for pointing me in the direction of what is quite an amazing thing. Um, I, I might add, it's such an amazing thing, and I don't tend to do this. I might go off and see what other people have said about it, whether some of them just bounced off it, or whether the, or whether people all think like I do, <laughs> which is what an amazing piece of work. So it is in, it's on. Bandcamp. Uh, that particular track will cost you one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. Uh, how much is the whole? Blah, 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 blah. I cannot find it. How much was the whole EP? <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm failing. Totally failing to find it. Unless you can't buy, can you buy the whole EP? It looks like it just seems to be listing the tracks and not the whole thing. Um, hey ho, bear with, let me just check if there is a way of buying the whole thing. Yeah, I can see the tracks for $1 each. I can't see, I can't see how, you, if you can buy, I can't see how you can buy the whole thing. Maybe I'm just not looking right. So yeah, what a thing. What a thing. I don't even know where to go from here. I've run out of words. There is also on there by Disembodied Tyrant, which I haven't heard, obviously. Another one from a whole five track thing from 2022. So if this is your kind of thing, there is more of it, basically. There you go. Disembodied Tyrant. 
Oh, and Synestia, sorry. Sorry. Keep getting confused about who's who did this. It is a bit confusing still. Um, maybe I should have read more about it. Let me know what you think, everybody. See you soon.